what is going on guys it's your boy death gun once again bringing you another method to making astral diamonds if my last video didn't give you enough information or you just want a different method to make astral diamonds i will give you guys my best method i have posted several videos for this but i find this to be the fastest and you can pretty much do it by yourself i've covered dread ring dungeons in several videos Dread Spire, Death Forge, and Phantom Fortress. All of these are amazing. They all give marks of power, marks of uh, stability, marks of union, lesser marks, greater marks. And as we know, these sell for great prices. They can go anywhere from 10,000 Astral Diamonds each at the lowest point, or I've seen them go all the way up to 25 to 30k each. Seeing as the event just dropped, there are still a lot of marks in the market. So you might see them at, you know, 15,000 or 10,000 or 13,000, but do not worry. They will run out and you will be able to sell your marks for amazing prices. If we head over here and check our mail, I have already posted some lesser marks of power and they sold for around 22,000 astral diamonds each so if we claim the items we've sold so far you can see the astral diamonds start to rack up it is an amazing method to getting astral diamonds very quick very easy you just want to come here even if the lowest one is you know 10,000 astral diamonds you guys do not want to sell it for 10,000 astral diamonds believe me the market will you know demand your marks so guys you don't have to sell them as expensive as me you can sell them for 15k 16 17k and just get them out the weird real quick but this is what I like to do I put them over 20,000 astral diamonds I put 10 here so I don't have to pay a posting fee because nobody likes paying posting fees. And we post our item and that's pretty much all we do. It's an amazing method, guys. I recommend to all of you, head over to the Dread Ring and farm these dungeons. I cannot stress enough how amazing it is to get drops from there. Especially on weekends because you have the chance to get double drops and who doesn't like double drops, you know. I'm just going to put two in the auction house. And yeah, guys, overall, it's an amazing method to getting these dungeons, to getting these marks. If you want to know more about the dungeons, I have tons of videos on how to run them, full runs, so you can have a guide as to what you're going into. And I also have a video that shows you guys what dungeon drops each specific mark. So yeah. Without further ado, guys, that will about wrap it up for this very quick video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you go and farm some marks and get tons of astral diamonds. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and if you have any questions, let me know. Till next time, guys. Guys, real quick, before I end the video, in case you guys want to know where it is exactly that you have to go, well, first off, we're going to head over to the Dread Ring. So let's start traveling over there so I can show you guys exactly what you want to be doing. Loading screen, loading screen, taking ages to load up. All right, so here we are. We are in the dread ring, guys. Pretty basic, one of the first areas you get to when you reach level 70. So what you want to do is head over to phantasmal fortress which gives marks of union so if you need marks lesser marks of union this is the place to go then we have the death forge which gives marks of stability if you need lesser marks greater marks or regular marks of stability the death forge is the place to go and if you want marks of power lesser marks of power or greater marks of power the dread spire is where you want to be so overall these are the three dungeons I'm talking about. And with that, I will wrap it up for this video. Make sure to smash that like button and I will see you guys next time.